So hey guys, I'm here again with Olitech Consort Limited. Yeah. In the person of Oleg Emer Christian Chidibim. So we are here at his um, other site, which is next to the one that we um, reviewed the other day. So we are just directly on top of the suspended slab and we want to take a look at you know, the construction process and also the cost, what it will take to actually get this done. So don't mind the whole bagger noise. They're doing the uh, fun works, fun work, the staircase. Mm. So can you give us an idea of the construction process for, you know, doing the suspended slab like this one? I can see this is, from what I've seen, this looks like a monolithic, monolithic reinforced concrete yes. slab. Yes. Yes. Normally, we, we introduce our foam works after our levelings, then place nylons so that under the slab will be smooth because we are not going to plaster. We are using, we are making use of POPs. Okay, uh, you won't do any plastering. No, no, we won't do any plastering. Okay, so the idea for this now is just to yes. so that yeah, the, the yeah, finished surface under be rough. Yeah, will be, be smooth, a light smooth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and there are times the nylon itself it helps to it helps to make the concrete to absorb those water mm. uh, because without nylons between the between those gaps between the um, foam works those water that usually drops is it carries its own strength making the concrete to be losing strength but we need this nylon that it helps you to absorb those water itself. That's during the casting. Yeah, during the casting and after the casting, casting of the concrete. Mm. Yeah. So after placing the nylons, we have to place our reinforcement bars, which we did with 12 mm steel, 12 mm bars, and 16 mm for beams, 12 mm for slab, then with 8 mm bars for steel ropes, binding Styles. wire okay. to put them together. All right, so let me come in here. So the plumber places the plumbing pipes you know, the necessary uh, pipes for the, the toilets, the, that's for the supply, um, the drain pipes, uh, the water waste pipes, the soil waste pipes, all of that, you know, prior to the casting of the slab. Same goes with the electrical person. All right, let's get back to the video. Well, after everything, we have to cast it with cement, sand, and gravel. And gravel, yeah. yeah as the concrete in general yeah okay so for this for this uh, construction of the suspended slab how many bags of cement are we looking at to actually finish this, this job uh, yeah i've been mean, we made the estimate of to this one i made the estimate of 180 bags is this including both the slab and the stairs yeah both the slab and the stairs, and stairs. okay Okay, that's that's good. Um, as you can see, um, they are currently doing the reinforcement now, and they're also doing the plumbing for the electrical and getting ready for the casting of the slab. Yeah. So it's, it's basically going to be casting situ. They're going to cast the slab. Yeah, casting situ. Yeah, get it ready um, to cure it for the next 21 days, which is the proper. Three weeks. time, three weeks, yeah. and then get ready for the next um, stage where they start raising the walls for, yeah. you know, the first floor. So, in the future, would you consider using other types of suspended slab, like the rib slab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have, a, have a, I heard about that rib slab countless, or countless times, and I, I wish to engage in it because I had its its its, its cost. Um, it's not that cost. It's it saves cost. Can you give me a rough estimates for the Post. entire suspended slab? <laughs> the seven to eight million. Okay. Yeah. For the materials. Materials and labor? Yeah. yeah. No, really. I, I mean materials. Because when you talk about material for the for it, we talk about the mm, lines, board, bamboo, mm -hmm. steel, um, reinforcement bars, line loads, plumber, electrical materials. Mm -hmm. Cement, sand, gravels, water. This is so I'm based on the high cost of materials now. Uh, so anybody that is trying to go into any suspended floor is, is looking about looking from like ten million naira below. 
All right. Thank you, Olegi, man. I hope our viewers will be able to grab this so that they can have an idea of what it's going to take to do a suspended slab while doing their own future homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, all, all, the, all, all these things, it, it depends on individual, individual differences. Someone might use 15 million to achieve his, depending on the kind of, uh, um, would, I, would I say, quality of work once achieved. achieve. Some might use 5 million to achieve it. But at average, you like 10 million below. Yes, this, this is just dependent on the fact that you're using a different type of slab system. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Like now, I'm making use of 12 mm for my slab. Mm -hmm. But now, some people they usually use 10 mm. It will reduce cost. So even the places I, I make use of 16 mm, so even use high gauge of 12 mm to reduce cost. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that's the thing. So everything still depends on the structural engineering. Yes, uh, yes, yes. It uh, specifications yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Olegi, man. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So thank you. You just um, you've seen the whole rundown of you know this suspended slab, the construction process, and also the cost, what it would take to actually finish the slab. So I hope this will give you a rough estimate or an idea when you're doing your future slab or your house in the future well note that this um, cost estimate depends on a lot of factors like the type of slab the material choices um, the design of the you know the slab system even the plumbing the electrical and also the structural design so all these are you know, the factors that are put in place while determining the cost for doing the suspended slab and also the area of the suspended slab in question so yours might be a bit bigger than this or it could be smaller than this so you know the size really matters the area that it covers really matters when doing the costing of the slab um so in that case i hope that you've been able to grab a lot of things today please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this on real estate architecture construction and um yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.